Hey, welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We are at Luke chapter 14, today verses 25 to 27. Let's see what happens. Now, great multitudes went with him, and he turned and said to them, If anyone comes to me and does not hate his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, yes, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. And whoever does not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Well, that's kind of a strong word, isn't it? Hate? Hate your brother and sister? Well, remember here, we're talking uh, Middle Eastern kind of thinking, and a lot of times we find this these great superlatives, these kind of like, kind of overstatements. And uh, Jesus does not want us to truly, at the depth of our heart, to hate our mother and brother and sister and, and father. Jesus wants us to put God's things first, in comparison to our love for God. Uh, our love for every other family member, every other person should be dramatically less than our love for the infinite God. It's not that we, it should be less, just that our love for God really should be dramatically more. But look at what we have here. Jesus is telling us something very important. People are coming. The multitudes are coming to him. They're, they're coming to be part of, the, part of the plan, and there's a warning here. Jesus says, you know, wait a minute. Hey, hey count your cost, because look, if you're not willing to give up everything, well, you're not going to be able to function well as one of my disciples. It's not going to work. So we have to be able and ready to put everything on the line to follow Jesus. And uh, sure, we can bless our children and our spouse, and, but you know what? God must be first. Other that, either, otherwise, we won't be able to bless them. And so God has to be the supreme value, the supreme love, and then everything else will fall into place. But if we're not ready to put God before our children, we'll be sucked into whatever trouble our children get sucked into. And many people are going to be lost that way because their children were sucked into the culture and the parents wind up getting sucked in with them into destruction. So may the Lord help us so that we don't fall into this trouble. Jesus, the key to this is where Jesus says, if you don't love you know, God more than all these other things and his own life also, there's the deal. If we love our own life also, we'll, we will put our, our uh, different family members before God. And when they go in the wrong direction, we'll be led astray. So there's the warning, a strong warning from Jesus. But let's be able to give up our own life also. And God's blessings will be with us. Let's pray. Father in heaven, Lord, help us so that we are willing to give up even our own life also. Thank you for teaching us. Thank you for this warning because many of us are very close to our family members, and we're ready to put them before you. God forbid, please help us, Lord. May we not be uh, fall into this trap. The devils are just waiting for us to fall into this trap. May we be faithful, Lord, and then we would be an influence to lead them toward the kingdom instead of succumbing to their influence to lead us to depart from your kingdom. Bless and help us, we pray. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. Hey, friend, may the blessings of God be upon you as you remain faithful to Scripture, faithful to Jesus in a culture which is spiraling toward full-on judgment very quickly. The Lord bless you.